Hey, how are you? Well, last week was a really long video, and uh, really to my, not surprise so much, but delight, uh, people really enjoyed it, and I got a lot of great feedback, and it, it really meant a lot to me, so thank you. I, I really appreciate it, and I think that's probably one of the biggest motivating factors in trying to create videos, is having that interaction with people throughout the world. So. Uh, uh, it really means a lot to me. I just wanted to let you know that. Now, uh, what's new for this week? Uh, my new tool is a new dust mask. A lot of people always wonder, why do you wear a respirator when you're out working in the shop here or just using it for dust? And the main reason for that is I find them to be comfortable. I like the rubber gasket. I don't like a paper dust mask. They're not comfortable, and I don't feel like they work. Now, I had had a dust mask like this years ago, and I haven't been able to find one since. I know that you could buy one online, but I'm not, a, I'm not really that much of an online shopper, and I happened to pick this one up at Granger yesterday. So this is the dust mask that I'll be wearing in the future. I still will be wearing a respirator, but only when I'm using heavy uh, paints, or paints with a lot of fumes, lacquers, oil paints, um, what else, contact cement, things like that. Now, uh, so many great comments on last week's project, and one of them was, it's a shame that you had to paint over your daughter's crayon artwork. And I thought, yeah, there's, a, there's definitely something to be said about that because, you know, they're only little for so long. Although this little girl's got crayon all over my house, and I'm constantly uh, cleaning up after her, although it's getting better because uh, she's getting older. But with that thought in mind, I thought, you know, this is her cabinet, and... Uh, hopefully one day she'll give it to her daughter. So what I've done here is I've taped out a square with some frog tape and I'm going to bring the cabinet up to the studio and let her make a picture. And so that way she'll always have it. It'll be on the back of the cabinet and um, it'll be kind of one of those things that's kind of fun to look at years from now. So uh, for Friday's project, I'm going to finally finish my mudroom. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I renovated my mudroom about five years ago and never made the drawer for the main cabinet. And it's just been this hole in the middle of this cabinet. So this week I'm going to finally get that done. So I hope you'll tune in and check that out. And I'll see you then. I'm going to paint on that. Right, Dad? You're going to paint on this square right here. This is the top. Okay, this is a good idea. You know your um your blood is actually blue, but when it you just have a boo boo, it changes color into red. Light pink I made. Dad, look, I made light pink. The fingers do it easy. Here, that spot, you know. One pink paint. You gotta show everyone my video. Okay, done. Whoa. 
Jeff does really look pretty like that without the green tape. Right? Sure does. <laughs>